Hello everyone, I'm Kim with Kim's Wood Decor, Kim's Gifts Decor. Um, this is the wood group that we are in today. I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. I hope everyone has a chance to watch um, all the lives going on with uh, live sales and crafting down south. Uh, if not, please check that out. I will be live later in there at 5 o'clock. But right now we are doing our wood in our wood group. If there's anything in particular that any of you would like to see that we're not doing or that you want to see more of or something, please let me know. Um, I did see Janelle posted something about the tulip and the crackling in the wood, so I have to check that out. But I'm still working on that. I'm still determined to get that figured out, and uh, I'm still working on it. But as for today, y'all... Let me show you what we're doing. We have this. If you caught me last week, Thursday, on live sales and crafting down south, every last Thursday of the month is uh, we all do a Christmas project. So for the interchangeable mini sign, I did the warm wishes. So people were asking me about different seasons, different holidays, whatnot. So, did you see how quick that comes out? Let me show you again. I had too much coffee today, y'all, really, already. And I couldn't talk yesterday in my live sale. So, this just kind of pulls out. That's it, like this, just kind of pulls out. And then the new one goes in. And it'd be really cute with a bow up top or a bow down below. So, for Mother's Day, um, we are going to... Let me see if I can... All right, for Mother's Day, we are going to do the mom interchangeable sign that fits in this little holder. If you don't have the holder, it is on my, whoop, look at this, y'all. I'm losing everything today. Let me point it down, tighten that up. If you don't have the sign, I did do a tutorial and a live on that. That is on my, uh, you can find it on my videos or it is on um, YouTube. Kim's Gifts Decor on YouTube. Um, the sign will come like this, unfinished. And, it, hey, Sam, how are you? Shows you how to put it all together like this. So, um, yeah. Super easy. Really, really easy. How you doing today, Sam? So, we are doing the mom. It has mom. The M-O-M. It has a flower in the center. And then it has love you. So, this can be customized with names on here if you want. I can, um, when the mom is on here like this, I can score in names underneath here with a little heart in between if you are wanting something like that. So that is an option as well. And I am going to show you another one I cut. We're doing, um, I was asked about, we have different holidays, different themes, different seasons. And this is sweet summertime with the watermelon. Is that not too cute? I know, Sam, I'm so bummed you can't go on tonight either. Would it help you if we switch times? Could you go earlier possibly? Did you want to go on at five and I can go on at six? Would that help you? And I'm trying to think, is Liz on today? I don't remember. I don't remember. And I'm not sure if Janine's going on at 7 either. Um, she's still coughing real bad. So I think it's all dependent on that, honestly. But So if you're going to do a large area, I got this from, uh, you can get it anywhere, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General, anything like that. If you're going to do big areas, I just cut pieces of this off. Oh, leaving for five at the meeting. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, you're gonna miss you. And I just cut part of this off for um, really large areas, and it covers it covers real nicely. So we're gonna get started on the bo the back of the sign. I like to use, and last week there was a whole thing about cheesecake now because, and I have to find out who who got the cheesecake and who can. Okay, anytime, Sam. I'm gonna miss you though. Um, for the back of the sign, I like to do toasted marshmallow. This is also a great color if you're doing anything with cheesecake. Perfect, perfect cheesecake color. Toasted marshmallow by um, Apple Barrel, which is from Walmart. 
Are you on your lunch still, Sam? So we're gonna do that first. My nose is itching. That means I'm gonna kiss a fool, y'all. Means I'm gonna kiss a fool. And you've got your scoring on here as well. Um, you re it's just for placement of the mom, the M O M. So if if it goes in the score lines, it's really not a big deal. And I do like to put my double sided tape, not my double sided, my painter's tape down. You can use double sided tape if you want, but I like to put my um, yeah. I was looking to see if I had my dryer here. Um, my tape down to hold it so it doesn't shift and my fingers aren't getting all yucky. My dog's coming in to see who I'm talking to. You know, the usual. The usual. Izzy's all messed up. She usually goes with Daddy to work. And Daddy got a new second job, another job. And he, uh, he can't take her. Well, he can take her. But she doesn't like going in the truck because there's all computers and stuff in there. And she just... She just doesn't like it. We're going to be trying to do more with my left hand here, guys. So we'll see how this works. Even though I'm right-handed, I uh, went on Monday for a CAT scan, and my wrist still isn't doing real well. So they want to um, put me in a short cast. But, hey, Tim, how are you? But I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm going to Florida this weekend to meet the, my daughter and my son-in-law and two of my grandkids. And we're staying at a water park. So I'm like, mm, yeah, that's not really going to work. It's been four weeks already. So really, what is the difference? I'll see y'all on Tuesday when I get back. <laughs> Sorry, but going to see you on Tuesday. So it is what it is. Um, now for the mom. I'm going to do the M and the M in black. I'm not answering that, Sam. <laughs> well, yes. Okay. All right. Um, the uh, the first doctor I went to, oh, the first doctor I went to said I wore it. Then I went back for my two-week checkup, and she said, okay, it's not really doing anything. I mean, you've got a little mobility, blah, blah, whatever. It's not helping you if you don't want to wear it. You don't have to wear it. Well, the doctor I talked to on the phone on Monday said, um, yeah, you should be wearing it. But we see how that goes, right? But the good thing is there is no, um, the tendon is not torn. They were worried about tendon and ligaments and all that. And the tendon is not, it is not, um, it's not torn, so that's a good thing. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? Welcome. We're doing the mom sign for the interchangeable, um, mini interchangeable sign holder. The I really like this tea rose, y'all. Did you see this color yet? Vintage tea rose by Folk Art. And I'm going to do the flower in that. And then the love you is... Um, at, if not etched, engraved on, and I'm going to do that in red for the center. Can y'all see? Yeah, you can see. But I really, really like this vintage tea rose. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the opposite color. You know how I like to do two colors? So we'll see. Alyssa, are you working? Are you in between patients? That's my daughter, y'all. That's Alyssa. She's the one I'm meeting in Florida. Her and her two kids, my two grandkids, and her husband, my son-in-law. So we're excited to go. But I hope this cold front, knock on wood, whatever, leaves it quite, um, still quite warm. It should be. My sister says even if it's like in the high 80s, because she lives in Florida, um... She said it's it's still pretty warm. Feels like it's like almost 90. So, I don't know. We had tornadoes come through. Thank goodness. I mean, just mainly trees down. So, um, not right here, right here by me. I know Alyssa can't wait. She can't wait. We can't wait either. She uh, flies in there with the kids on Saturday morning. And we're leaving here at 530 after we drop the dogs off to their sitter. And uh, 
we should be there in there about 12 31 o'clock and her flight gets in at 10 so super excited we're all gonna have a good time and then on sunday we're all going to bush gardens so I don't know if any of you have ever been there, but yeah, Bush Gardens. Can't wait. It's going to be a good time. And my granddaughter keeps acting like, uh, you know, she's been there before. She told uh, her Papa Harley that she knows this perfect ice cream place that he's going to take her to. And only her, which is fine. They usually do their own thing, you know, every time he sees her. Because we don't get to see her that often. And he does stuff with Jackson too, but... Um, Presley says, I know this perfect spot. I talked to my daughter yesterday. Hey, Stacy, how are you? And she says, Mom, how does she know? We haven't been there before. And I'm like, I don't know. Or we haven't had ice cream there before. I'm like, I don't know. I said her, her crystal ball must be working or something. She knows, though. She claims she knows. So, yes, look at this tea rose color. Isn't this gorgeous? Remember, pull the tape away, not pull the object off the tape because you crack it. I did that last week. I cracked something. But isn't that vintage tea rose? You love Bush Gardens? You've been there? To the one in Florida, Stacy? I guess they've got a little Sesame Street area for, for Jackson. So. And I heard in the little kid area, too, there's little roller coasters and whatnot that if Presley does want to go on that, being a little older, it'll work out well for her. So, yeah. Now we're going to let this dry a second. I'm going to do a second coat on this first, and then we'll see if it's dry enough to go over. Hey, Ginger, how are you? We're doing the Mom Interchangeable sign for the interchangeable mini sign holder great for any tiered tray on a desk perfect on a desk y'all if you're, anyone's looking for a gift and then um, tons and tons of interchangeable signs for it yes you've been to the one in Tampa I think yeah I think that's the one we're going to I'm okay I'm hanging in there um the one we're staying in Orlando. I guess that's where my son-in-law had booked the hotel. So we're staying in Orlando. And I guess it's like an hour and a half drive or so. So I think it's the same one. It's so exciting. Let me dry this a little bit, y'all. Oh. I'm going to do the M's uh, in black, like I said. So where's my sponge for the black? Yes, we're, my daughter says we are going to the Tampa Bush Gardens. So Stacy, question. How busy was it when you went? And my daughter's been trying to find out. Um, is it worth getting like the... The pass, the fast pass, or Alyssa, what's it called? The fast pass where you get to like skip the line or, you know, like Disney has. I know spring break is going on like in Georgia and in New York where, where my daughter lives and stuff. But the only positive, I don't know if it's positive or not, ride fast pass. Did you do the ride fast pass, Stacey? Um... The kids in Florida are not on spring break. They already had their spring ba break. So that's kind of a plus, I think. But I don't know how many people from everywhere else is going to be going. I'm hoping majority of them are going to, um, to Disney. But we'll see. And from my understanding, because I said to my daughter, I said, well, can't we um, get the fast pass, the ride fast pass later? And I guess once it sells out, it sells out. So I don't think that's an option. When 
Stacy gets back to us. If you're uh, back in another case, Alyssa, I'll let you know what she says. But my sister has season tickets with her son and her grandkids and stuff. And um, she's never done it, but she lives there. So, you know, we're only there once. Want to take advantage of the whole experience. And I heard, hey, Jamie, how are you? I heard they have a kangaroo feeding area. Yes, it's Stacy says, yes, it's worth it if you all love to ride the rides, but honestly, the lines move fast even in the non fast. Did you go there when it was really busy, Stacy? That's good to know. Thank you. And we're all not riding the rides at one time either, so. Like, I can't go on rides. Yes, it was busy when you went too. Well, that's good to know. So you don't think you really need it. It's too dry. Well, thank you so much for letting us know, Stacy. Black, I use any black. I don't have a black of preference. Um, I usually pick it up from Apple Barrel when I go and I get some of the ones that only Apple Barrel has, like, you know, the cheesecake toasted, toasted marshmallow one. And, um, yeah, I'd like to know whose husbands went and got them. Cheesecake last week. Um, although I think Stacy, was it Stacy mm -hmm, that had cheesecake earlier? That's, that's, yeah, the kids still are in school, for sure. Do you live there, Stacy? Near there? My sister said um, the same thing, that she's never gotten it, but when she has gone, and she, she lives there, she has a pass. Um, I just didn't know it'd be in spring break right now if we should have gotten it, or at least two of them. You have family there? So anyhow, so my husband loves kangaroos. It was funny when my husband came here with uh, my daughter, well, not my husband, when my daughter came here um, to visit one year, my husband and my daughter love sloths. Love them, love sloths. And they're cute, they're slow, but they're cute. And um, we went to like an indoor aquarium animal type of thing. They had a sloth where you could go in and pet the sloth and get pictures. And I even think they, I don't, I don't remember if they fed it or not. But um, yeah, well, they've got, from my understanding, they have a kangaroo one now. So my husband is just thrilled to go in with this to kangaroo one. He wants to go visit, uh, you know, the land down under just to see, you know, kangaroos, I think. Hey, Doreen, welcome. How are you? So, yeah. I said, I hope they kick you. I guess they kick. I said, I hope they kick you. Not really, but... So I want to take a poll, y'all. Are Tuesdays good for everybody? I don't see much going on on Tuesdays. I was checking out um, to see what's going on on Tuesdays. There's not a real lot going on for um, lives and whatnot on Tuesdays. Um, how is everyone looking on Tuesdays? Don't worry. I'm keeping my... Be nice, Ginger. Like you weren't thinking it, right? Be honest, Ginger. Because you weren't thinking it. But the sloth thing with him and my daughter and um, 
granddaughter, they they loved it. They they really did. And there were two of them in there, and yeah, they really did love it. You can stop laughing out loud now, Ginger, and just be honest. Because what I'm thinking of doing, y'all, let me show you. There's a lot of different interchangeable items out there, like the interchangeable sign for every, there's so many different signs. Holidays, um, holiday, seasons, special occasions, birthday, anything, okay? So we've got all the inserts for that. Going live, doing them once a week on Thursdays, isn't really going to cut it. <laughs> yeah, more times than not, we need that for our significant other. But hey, you know. You know, right? Are you working from home today, Ginger? So, you know, like we've got these interchangeable signs. We've got the sign back here that we did that the welcome just fell out of because I tipped it too far forward. Uh, we've got this one that we did. We've got tons of interchangeable ones here. Um, I'm thinking of going and doing a special with just... Oh, I know this. It's horrible. And you think the rain would have took a lot of the pollen and all that away, but it, it's been awful. It has been awful. Hey, Don, how are you? We were just talking about bush gardens. That's my sister that lives in Florida, and she's meeting us in bush gardens on Sunday. So with, uh, with her son, Aiden, and the grandkids and her husband. I was asking, um, Stacy has been to the Bush Gardens in um, Tampa as well, Dawn, and she was saying that she thinks the um, the fast ride pass is a waste of money as well. So, all right. So, let me rinse this brush off. Where's my water cup? Here's my water cup. But I was saying, I think they have an exhibit, Dawn, that has a uh, kangaroo in it now to feed the kangaroo. Were you the one that told me that? Did I see it on TV? I don't know. So we were talking about, um, you know, like maybe somebody getting kicked by a kangaroo, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I hope you feel better, Ginger. I definitely hope you feel better. I like to make it look, a, the sign part, a little rustic, like a sign. So I'm going to take honey brown, just a little bit of it, and dry brush it um, from left to right, like, um, like a sign. To have a little bit of brown in there. Now when I dry brush, I do not I do not um, wash my brushes because you're dry brushing. There's really nothing on there. So I think I used white on that one last time. I do have a couple different ones though. Um, I have for the brown, I have a white, I have a gray. So I use, I do use different ones for different colors. And you know, I should take my um, Sharpie marker and write what color on there, right? So you just kind of get it all off, dry brushing. off the tape. Oh, 
a week of antibiotics. Your daughter loves sloths too? Wow, do they give you steroids too, Ginger? And I'm just going side to side here just to get a little bit of brown in here for um, to make it look a little rustic like a sign with the grains. And I'm going to move my MOM so that I don't get any brown on there. And my love you. No, no steroids. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Really takes a lot out of you, this pollen junk. And then it's just not that stark, stark, plain color, whatever your base color is. And again, ours is that toasted marshmallow. Because I really don't see signs being white, white, you know. And then that just gives it a little bit more of a wood look on there. That was the coolest thing. And then when my daughter came back last year, because she, she was, last year and the year before she came, uh, end of June, beginning of July, um, we wanted to go there again because um, they had the kangaroos. And um, he wanted to see that, but they ended up being closed. Hey, Kayla, how are you? And uh, yeah, he was bummed. And what was really cool, which I thought it was going to freak me out, but it didn't. My granddaughter, my daughter, and I, they had this bird exhibit. And you walked in there, and um, everybody sat down. And they told you um, to stay seated. They didn't want you. Um, I'm going to go around this while I'm talking. Uh, just the edges. They wanted you to stay seated. And then um, hundreds of birds, hundreds. And uh, they took the food, and they, like, scattered it. And then all the birds came out. They were like parakeets. I think they were parakeets. They all came out and they were all over. And then they'd give them, they'd come around, they'd give you food in your hand and then they'd eat out of your hand. And they, it was really cool. And uh, I thought I'd be freaked out by it with all these birds. And then it was neat. She did like this whistling, like this noise and then to call them. And they knew, they, they knew it was the coolest thing. We are an eighth of a mile from Conyers. We did not get, um, we lost power for a bit, but um, you know, a few limbs and stuff down, but no, no major, major storm damage, thank goodness. Um, I would say the tornado and whatnot came down less than a mile from us though, so. Yep, but it's crazy. Usually they get all that out towards Villa Rica and all that. Mother Nature is crazy these days for sure. So back to this um, interchangeable stuff. So we've got the interchangeable frame. We've got that interchangeable post. Thanks, Ginger. You all stay safe over there too. It's crazy. It's just real windy today. And the weather was so nice on Easter. And then we also now have the interchangeable baskets. I've got the small one and the large one. And then if you order them from me, I get you the, the additional back piece that goes on it so you can make it reversible. So like you can do one side stained, um, 
like a, like a brown stained or do the backside white or black and white or, you know, whatever you want to do. I'll show you that here in a second. I just want to finish this up. And I always like to finish my ends, always. And some people say you don't need to because um, there's no scorch marks. There's, a, there's no burn marks. But ultimately, when your laser is cutting wood, thank you. Thank you, Stacy. There's, oh, I have so much, so many. Did you see the sweet watermelon one? Look at sweet summer watermelon. Isn't that cute? And then there's a spring one and there's, um, but this is the basket. Y'all, there's a small one and a big one. Look at, let me move this tape because you know I'll end up getting this on there. So this is the basket. Here's the holder to make it sit on a shelf. I had issues with that yesterday. And really, I was only drinking coffee. None of that special water, Ginger. But um, this is the front of the basket. And it has your score marks in here for, you know, the basket weave and whatnot. And then you've got your stand to make it stand up. And then I'm also giving you the back piece. So you can do the back piece. So it's inter it's interchangeable with your pieces that go inside. But you can make it different on the front and the back so that it, um, you can have two different color baskets. And then that's the big one. And then of course we have the small one here. We have the small one, the small mama here. And here's the small one. Yes, ma'am. There are four, four or five different patriotic ones and uh yeah there's a b1 watermelon bees ladybug all all sorts so i'm in the process of getting pictures of all those getting them on my website not my website my etsy and then um paint them so i could i like to do a picture as well so i'm looking how is everybody on tuesdays i want to do another day and have it strictly for interchangeable signs okay and um, you're going to get a special deal on the signs. I don't know what yet, but there's going to be a special deal. So, but I just love them. They're the perfect size for uh, a tiered tray or on a desk or on a small shelf. I will send you pictures, Stacy. Tuesdays at one sounds good for you, Sam. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to add another day. There's just so much I want to do. So much. And there's just not enough time. There's just not enough time. So now, y'all, you know, we need the dots and dashes. And this is the only one I found that does not run. It's one for all. Janine turned me on to this. And it's from Molotow. And I have the white and I have the black. And they do come in different sizes if you want to use them for big ones like Pasca. Um, yay, you're good on Tuesdays. Yay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I think if you order three or more signs for the interchangeable sign, I'm going to work on these first. Um, if you order three or more interchangeable signs, I'm giving you this for free. So I think that's going to be the incentive to um, join me on Tuesdays. But Tuesdays at 1, we are going to start next week Tuesday. I will be back from Florida. I come back Monday, so we're going to start next week Tuesday. And we're going to, um, I think I'm going to prep some signs as well so it goes um, a little bit quicker. But it's like buy three signs, and then you're going to have a code for the free Intercha the free inter interchangeable sign. I couldn't say shelf sitter yesterday and I can't say interchangeable sign today. I kept coming out the poopy word yesterday. Yeah, was not good y'all, was not good, but yeah. Who makes the pen? The pen is from uh, Molotow, M-O-L-O-T-O-W. I got it from Amazon. But um, if you have a Blick art store near you, which 
I know Janine does in Savannah and I looked it up and they have one um, in Atlanta. Um, SCAD is an art program that um, a lot of the high, the colleges and stuff do. <clears throat> and it, um, I'll put a link on here as well, Stacy, for the black one and the white one afterwards. They come in red and they come in all the colors and the colors are amazing. But this is the first one I found that actually does not bleed. And I love it. But you can go on to Blick.com, I believe, B-L-I-C-K, and you can order from them as well. And uh, last week, I believe, they had a special that when you ordered um, six, you got so much of a percentage off. But yeah. And then what's nice about these is it also has a gauge on the side so you can tell your ink level for when you're getting low. And it is um, acrylic paint. It's not water-based. And I shook it with the lid off and look what I did, y'all. And if you, because of it's, it's an acrylic paint, one, you can go over it, but two, if it's wet, you can take it off with the baby wipe. So, but I will post, I got mine from Amazon, like I said. Um, I will post the link in the comments afterwards. But if you want to screenshot it as well, you can screenshot it. And if you bring up all for one like that, it'll come up too. But um, I am an affiliate for Amazon, so if you do order it off of there, um, if you could use my link, I would greatly appreciate it. And did y'all watch my live sale yesterday? Do y'all know what we're doing tonight at five on my Kim's Gifts and Decor page? I know Sam knows. <laughs> You'll have to watch the replay though, Sam. But see y'all, it just, it does not spread. He is, he's right. He's right there behind me. You want to see him? We're making these guys. We're making the gnomes. I'm showing y'all how I made them. See the gnomes? And we are going to try to put um, some little round mushroom spots on their heads. Because, as you can see, you know, mushrooms have... Like here, this is for the the little the little mushroom thing. Um, the mushrooms have little dot spots holes in them. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna show y'all how I did it. Super easy. You're not gonna believe it. Thank you, Stacy. I didn't think of it. I saw it on Pinterest and I saw it on Facebook. So, but I'm like, yep, have to do it. Definitely have to do it. Have to do it. So, where's my heart? Here's my heart. Sam and her gnomes. I love them too, though.
And then we've got our mom, our M-O-M. -M. And see, there's no bleeding whatsoever. Isn't that amazing? And it still has, I use the wood that um, has the grooves in it. You can see the grain, not the grooves, the grain. And it still, it does not bleed. I don't like the MDF. A lot of people like it. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just personally like the look of wood grain. So I like the wood grain in there, being as how you're making it from wood. So that's my choice, and that's what I like to do. So next week, y'all, we start Tuesday at 1, and I will um, give you the code. Um, or actually, no, I'm not going to give you a code because I don't want to give it out. If you order three of them, you're going to let me know. Um, and I'm going to give you the, the free interchangeable sign and that you, you're only going to get that once to start with. I know stingy. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. And again, if you do want this customized, I can score names in here um, if you want the names. So I just want to make sure my dots and dashes are dry so they don't smudge. Set a reminder, Sam. Set a reminder. Two o'clock at one. And we're going to be, there's so many different interchangeable things. We're going to be working on interchangeable signs. Tuesday at one is going to be all about interchangeable items. All about interchangeables. And um, y'all, should I make it the same wood site or should I make it a different site? What do y'all think? It's free. I'm not charging anything. But should we keep it all on the same site? What do you think? Here in the same group? Will do. It will be here in the same group. But I don't think I'm conflicting with anybody else that goes on. Um, I don't think there's many people that go on on Tuesdays. That way you don't have to keep track of another of another group either. So makes sense to me, y'all. I think I need new glasses. I don't want to focus. And we are going to start. Well, I'll give you the option. Do y'all want to start with this one and do more of these? Or do y'all want to do the basket? We have a big and a small basket. Which do you want to start with? The frame or the basket? Which do y'all want to do? The frame. Frame it is. We will do the frame, Stacy. You were the first to answer, so we're going to do the frame. So here is the mom. And then um, I'm going to do some dots and dashes with black on this one. Looking a little too plain for me, y'all.
You probably won't even see most of it because it will be in the frame, but that's all right. And here we go. We have the mom interchangeable frame sign. Let's shove this, put this in here, shove this in here. Listen to me, y'all. And there we go. We've got the mom for Mother's Day. And it would look really cute with like a bow here or a bow here. The interchangeable bows, um, you could, I would make the bow interchangeable because if you put it here, it's going to need to come off when you put your sign in and out. But isn't that cute? And then I would want to change the bow color out as well for different themes. There you go. And there's the mom. And then I'll show you the one we did last week for the last Thursday of the month being winter Christmas theme. Where did I put it? This is the warm wishes. And there's the warm wishes. And, um... Here is the Sweet Summer with the watermelon. And I do have a whole bunch more. They're in the other room. But, yep, I will do, uh, we'll do uh, Patriotic. We will do Patriotic next week, y'all. So, thank you for joining me. And I hope you like this. And I hope y'all join me on... Tuesday at one o'clock. If not, please catch the replay. And you can see the da the dashes on there a little bit. See that? So it's not too bad. But yep. Thank you again. Y'all have a great Thursday. And if you are able to, please watch or watch the replay on the live sales and crafting down south. And I will be on my Kim's gifts and decor. Make it showing you how I made these little cuties. These little cuties, these little gnomes, the lady, the ladybug one and the bee one. So I'll show you how I did these. And we're gonna experiment with um, the little dots on them, y'all. So join me at five o'clock on Kim's Gifts and Decor. Hey Diana, welcome. We're just ending up. This is what we made today. We did the mom interchangeable mini sign holder. Um, the holder we had already done at a different time, and there's the sign that goes in and out. So, there you go. Thank you for joining me. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and hopefully I'll see all of y'all on Tuesday. Thanks, Sam. Have a good one. We'll miss you tonight, Sam. But good luck at your, your meeting that you have. Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye.